good morning. Look at that. <laughs> From uh, Flying J in Billings, Montana. So it's about 6 a.m. again, and I am getting on the road. I actually had a really good sleep last night. But my body's sore from moving stuff and from trying to get comfortable in that back seat. So I'm getting on the road and I'll check in soon. Just a little pit stop and a rest area. It's really pretty. Oh, I needed to get out of the car. My back hurts. But back in the car. All right, on the road again. Welcome to North Dakota. I found a scenic view, so I'll show you. Beautiful day. All right, came from there. Headed there. Headed down the highway. Looking for some. I don't know the song. This is Theodore Roosevelt National Park. So I'm at a rest stop somewhere in North Dakota, <laughs> going towards Fargo. I have four hours left, but it's five o'clock. So I'm trying to decide, do I just keep going through? Well, I'm gonna keep driving and see how I feel. But I'm tired, I've been driving since, since six this morning. And I quit videotaping anything pretty. I mean, it's pretty, but it's all flat, just like Minnesota. So. All right, well, I'll check in one more time and let you know if I got home or if I'm staying somewhere overnight. <laughs> okay, I'll see ya on the flip side. Hopefully I'll be home. We'll see. 
look at this. It's a, it's a buffalo, yeah, and a teepee. Okay, you're sitting on the picnic table because I don't have a stand or anything and there's nothing here to sit you on, I don't think. So, I have two and a half hours left. I got my coffee, I got more water, and that's the problem because I have to stop more when I drink so much. Drink water, I'm trying to drink more water. Uh, but, oh, I was gonna tell you, I saw like three road trucks and one's like Charlene and then I saw a brand new one and I even went to pass it so I could see like what it looked like and boy, she was a beauty. Um, but yeah, so that was interesting to see that. Uh, let's see, what else was I gonna tell you? Oh, and I wanna say, so I am passing semis like a boss and cars and boats and everything. Uh, Cause you know, I'm not used to doing that, but I don't know, like I said, that's driving that, it's like a go-kart. Uh, a lot different than Charlene, but hats off to uh, semi-truck drivers because there is no way this could be my living, driving this <laughs> long. Can you tell I'm getting a little punchy? So I have two and a half hours left and I am going to just stick it out and do it. I'm getting squirrely. Squirrel! <laughs> well, I didn't tell you, when we were moving Jesse, uh, we were going to the car, we were walking through the parking lot, and this big thing ran across the parking lot into like this bush, and she goes, oh, there's a rat. No lie, the rat was like this big. I said, it looked like a squirrel. And I was trying to get a video for you, but it had buried itself under the, the thing, and Jesse was like, nah. So, and uh, does anybody live in Tacoma? Because uh, all it smells is like pot. And <laughs> we were coming down the steps, and he was in front of us and a big plume of pot smoke came behind us. And yeah, so you can smell. Jesse said they call it the Tacoma aroma. So if you're from Tacoma, let me know if you know that aroma. Okay, sorry. I got two and a half hours left. I can't even imagine what I'm gonna be like by the time I get home. But okay, got my coffee, got my water. I am on the road and I will see you there. Okay. I'm home. Oh my gosh. I've never been so happy to get out of a car before. So it's like 9.30. So I drove from 6 a.m. to 9.30 with no more than just like a bathroom break or to get gas. So, but I'm glad I'm home. Uh, and I would, yeah, I am home. In a parking lot. Uh, you know, I was thinking, um, I just feel so less stressed now. Like, all that has, like, lifted. I got Jessie through her semester. If you didn't know, I had to, like, financially support her while she was doing rowing and she had her student teaching for her last semester. And, you know, got her through graduation. Me and Joy got to go. That was amazing. Um, you know, and now got her through the move and, you know, got the car back and I did my taxes. And so all those things that were leading up are now like done. And I'm so proud of Jesse. I'm actually a little proud of myself. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I feel happy. I feel good. And yeah, everything is good. And now I can concentrate on like doing my not my own stuff but you know stuff for now I can work towards future stuff um so yeah so now I get to work on my stuff that I've been wanting to for quite a while because all that is off my shoulders now so yay I made it home cross country yeah 
Uh, and I just want to thank you guys because I don't think you realize how much like just having you guys and you know writing kind comments my, mo my mom and I talk about this all the time we were just talking about this the other day at lunch that um you know because she reads all the comments and she'll go back and read them again or you know look for the new ones and you guys are so nice to her and you're so nice to me and you know especially through like this time like I said with all the stress and having you guys to support me and say kind things has really 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 helped me um because if you don't know I've pretty much done this alone I've been a single mom since my daughter was one and you know I'm traveling cross country and doing all this and I don't feel alone um having you guys so uh yeah so I just want to say thank you and my mom thanks you too I know that uh okay well I'm gonna <laughs> get ready and I'm going to bed so you yeah you Go out and make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You have to sell everything and move into a van. That could be your your white noise every night. Uh, although it is white noise for me and it helps me sleep. Uh, go call someone you love and as Joy says, tell them that you love them. And I know somebody said, a lot of you saw that picture in the uh, the shop that I was at that said um, start every day with joy or something like that and that was intentional because I wanted you guys to see that and somebody said oh I wanted to buy it for you and I was almost gonna buy it myself but I just have no room <laughs> there's just no other place in the van that I could put it so but yeah I wanted you guys to see that too she has the perfect name and don't you dare don't you dare and just know like I said if nobody else appreciates you that you think, I truly appreciate you. I appreciate you for coming along this journey for me, for staying with me, for supporting me, for saying kind things, just for even watching, even if you never comment, just for watching. And um, from the bottom of my heart, I wanna thank you. And don't you dare forget your magic. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.